the detective's office. The streets were empty in the little town of Pleasant Valley. At 3.30 on a chilly February afternoon it was already growing dark. A late winter storm had left the town slick with freezing rain. There was a light shining through the basement window of a small house just east of town. Inside, two children enjoyed the cozy warmth of the basement. Their names were Jerry and Maya. Classmates and good friends from school. They were off from school for a winter break. Most of their friends were charging down the sledding hill, but neither Jerry nor Maya felt like joining them. They had something else on their minds. Martin Widmark, welcome to the Embassy of Sweden in Washington, D.C. What inspired you to write the books about the Who Done It Detective Agency? Uh, first of all, I, I love detective stories myself. Uh, and uh, secondly, I am a teacher. And I understand that uh, detective stories are quite good for children who are uh, learning to read. Because, um, if it's uh, written in a good way, you just forget that you are actually not the best reader in the world because you just want to know the answer, who did it. So you keep on reading and that's a good, uh, uh, that's a good uh, way to promote reading, I think. And uh, a little bit because of that I love the detective stories, so that's the reason. Your books have been a great success, both in Sweden and internationally. Right now you're in town representing Sweden in the Kids Euro Festival. How do you introduce the detective agency and its stories to the children in DC? I introduce them, I think, in the best way by letting the children create their own detective stories. So they understand the, the, the work behind, the, the writer's work behind the books. So I let them um, create the main characters and uh, their names and their profession and hobbies and uh, their secrets. I also ask for their secrets. So, so the best way I think to promote uh, reading and detective stories uh, is to let the children try to create their own stories. And last of all, what is, in your opinion, the best about Sweden? Taxes, I would say. Thank you.